Well, hey guys, it's Catherine. It has been a hot summer with lots of heat embossing projects. I've done quite a few on my blog and tons over at Stamp Nation. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the design team and I have been posting new tutorials using heat embossing in so many different ways. The event officially ended last week, but I still have a few projects coming up using heat embossing. I just can't stop. So today we are going to use heat embossing with brush out. One thing I love about brush out uh, powder is that you never quite know what you're going to get. It's a surprise every time. So let's get started. assorted pack of 24 colors. I made some swatches so that I could see exactly what colors are in here. If you head over to my blog post, I will link to this video tutorial where I did this so you can see how that all worked and what all the colors are like and how they work. So I decided I'm going to use the Gamboge and the Alizarin Crimson and some metallic copper sparkle embossing glitter by WOW. I also got a new stamp set by a new to me company create a smile they've been around a little while but i've never purchased from them before so i'm excited to use their stamps the owner was absolutely darling and wrote me a really nice note inside my order so that was such a lovely surprise i'm just going to stamp a bunch of these on the background maybe not a bunch maybe three you know, what drew me to the stamp set was this big flower. I love how there's the stripey on the outside and then the circles on the inside. I think that's so cute and fun. Maybe I'll do a little bit more right here in the corner. I am going to end up cutting this down a bit because it's larger than a card front. This is actually a piece of Canson watercolor cardstock that you get at the craft store and it comes on big sheets like 9 by 12 I think and I just cut it down so it's uh, going to be bigger than a card front so we'll just tap off that excess powder look how gorgeous that is already and I haven't even embossed it all right so I grabbed my heat tool and I'm just going to heat that for a second sometimes the embossing glitter is a little bit hard to see when it's changed but I kind of just hold it in the light and I watch for it to turn from a powder to a shine and I don't know if you can see that it's turning in that upper right hand corner. We'll just move the heat tool across the whole project until the entire thing is embossed. Look at that gorgeous sparkle. I love it. <laughs> now for the fun part. I've added some adhesive to the back. This will help my layer lay down a little flat, not entirely flat, it's gonna warp, <laughs> but we're, we're gonna give it a little help there. I'm gonna spray this down. Really, you know what I would love to do? I would love to do the flowers in red and orange and then do like a light, light, light blue on the background, but mm, that's feeling like a little bit too much work for me right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be a little bit lazier than that. Look at that brush out powder. That is so, so cool. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it on. Probably gonna add a little bit more water to get that color moving some more oh my gosh look at that it's gorgeous look at the purple that's one thing I love about brush out is there's some sometimes some kind of hidden gem colors in there I'm just gonna add in a little bit of this gamboge here and there now the water is kind of doing its thing. You can help it along with the heat tool if you like. You can also see you can also use a water brush if you want to help get some color moving around a little more. If it's not moving around as much as you want it to. I want to get all my petals colored in and I want the background to be a little bit more kind of free and loose. I have a paper towel off to the side if I need to kind of clear out the tip of my water brush. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. You can also use a paper towel if you want to dab up if it's a little too much in some spots. I think I'm going to help it along a little with my heat tool. I 
want it to be a little bit more vibrant inside the flowers and a little lighter outside the flowers. So I'm going to wipe up a little bit of this outside. Add some more heat, get this drying. And I think from here I'm just going to let it dry naturally. I want some more sparkle to be in my flowers, so I'm just kind of running down each petal with my Spectrum Aqua Sparkle Marker. I have a little extra, I just squeezed it out right on here just so I can kind of have a little palette. I guess I don't really need it, but um, I don't know. <laughs> I keep kind of dipping into it and kind of swirling colors around. Maybe it's helping me like if I get too much color in my brush. And we'll just coat every petal with the sparkle. Now I'm still kind of playing around here and I did a little puddle of water, added some of this alizarin crimson, made a little palette of pink, and then I'm just kind of doing at the base of each petal, kind of darkening these up. And I think I'm going to do just this one. Just wanted to kind of show you guys how you can just play. This one down here is a little lighter, it has more orange in it. This one is even lighter with less pink. Obviously this one is darker. So just play and, and have fun and see what you like. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, if you had fun making the card and you give it to somebody and they smile, well, then it's all worth it. So now my main technique piece is all dry and ready to go and I'm kind of loving it. We're going to cut that down in a minute, but I'm going to work a little bit on the greeting piece. So I cut out a thanks. I love this font. That will be fabulous right on top. And then we have this little coordinating set. I'm going to use a million. I think that's fun. And we'll ink that in black, stamp it on white, and then I'm going to cut it down. It's just so wonderful and lovely when a telemarketer interrupts my videos. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> my hardest part right now is deciding what I want to cut off. <laughs> I'm doing just about an eighth of an inch under four because I want to do a little sparkly little um, accent there. And let's see how long this is. Six. So I got to cut a whole half inch off. Uh, oh, uh, I think if I cut a half inch off this side, I'm going to lose almost all of this flower here. So let's do this top piece right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and add this to a black layer. I need a lot of adhesive here. Well, we got some warping going on, so you could just uh, lay this under a heavy book for a while, but I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> so I'm going to add a lot of adhesive and just adhere it straight on here. You know, I don't really need this entire piece of black, but I want to pop this up on dimensionals and I need to add it to this Okay, so that was Laurel FaceTiming me. I told her, hold on, hold your pants. I will be right with you. <laughs> so I just want to finish this card up and then I will call her back. I'm getting all kinds of inter interruptions right now and it's going to throw off my mojo. I just got to finish this card. So lots of uh, dimensional adhesive on here. I want this to lay as flat as possible. So I'm adding lots and I added lots of adhesive. Like I said, you could put it under a book, but with all the interruptions I get, I just don't have that kind of time. I have this piece of glitter paper laying on my desk. Not sure where it came from, but it's begging to be on this project. So we're just going to adhere it right here. It's all kinds of crookedy and wonky, but that is not gonna matter. We're just gonna add this right on top with that little glittery accent to the side, and I think it looks awesome. So I'm gonna grab my liquid glue. I have this thanks. We'll just add a little bit and add this a million strip across the front of this card and we'll be all done. I am a little tempted to add a few sequins on here. Um, you may have heard in another video, my sequins have been MIA. My friend Emily has them because we were taking some photos of some things. Did you guys see that stamp of approval box photo with all the sequins around it? That's why Emily has my sequins. <laughs> but I am seeing her next week, so hopefully I'll be getting those sequins back. 
So I'm gonna just trim this off. I think I'm just gonna trim it right at the watercolor piece. Just like so. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? It's so bright and cheerful. Ah, done! <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this card and you're inspired. Let me know if you use brush-o or maybe some glitter paper, maybe the layout, maybe the glitter embossed flower outline. Yeah, so let me know what inspired you from this project today. Thanks for being here. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and I will see you soon.